A plaque at Dunedin's Port Chalmers Yacht Club marking the point where a year ago Russian adventurer Fyodor Konyukov started rowing by himself all the way to South America. Fyodor's achievement, which to me is one of the great endurance tests of uh, mankind, rowing from here 6,400 nautical miles across to Chile. Designed by a British company, Konyukov's narrow rowing boat measured just nine metres long with cramped sleeping conditions for its crew of one. Through that he had no support boat. He had all his provisions on board himself, plus water, etc. His boat was rolled over many, many times in massive seas, 25 foot waves, etc, etc. So you can imagine um, what he went through. The epic journey is just the first leg of an attempt to circumnavigate the globe by rowing boat, with two legs still to go. But while waiting for the summer to come back to the Southern Ocean, the adventurer has already been working on breaking another world record. Presently, he is in the process of um, going up in a hot air balloon, which will go to the highest height ever by hot air balloon. That's what he's looking at doing. Konyukov is set to start the second leg of his round-the-world journey this month, rowing from the bottom of South America right past Southern Africa and hopefully arriving at Western Australia. Then he'll wait until next summer to tackle the third leg, with him rowing from Australia back to this plaque in Dunedin, marking where he started his adventure. In Dunedin, the South Today.